there is a particle in the cytoplasm that actually recognizes the signal peptide as it emerges from a ribosome shown here. It is called the signal recognition particle or SRP. It binds to the amino terminal signal sequence and the result as we now know is to arrest any further elongation, any further translation, which makes some sense. You don't want this polypeptide whose fate it is to go into the RER to be produced first in the cytosol because then it would be all folded up and it wouldn't be able to get into the RER. So the signal recognition particle binds, translation is arrested temporarily until the SRP encounters an SRP receptor on endoplasmic reticulum, on what will become rough endoplasmic reticulum, and that's illustrated in the second component of the picture. Once that binding has occurred, the SRP itself is no longer necessary and it can be removed, and the ribosome associates with another protein in the RER called a translocation channel. The light blue structure is actually associated with the large subunit of a ribosome translating a messenger RNA. And the polypeptide that is coming out is the thread with the red signal peptide at the end. So, so far, we have the first part of the signal hypothesis, ending with the SRP detaching, and translation now able to resume with the protein being guided through the translocation channel into the lumen, the space, in the RER. Here are the next steps. The polypeptide chain is still emerging from that ribosomal large subunit channel and progressing through the translocation channel. At some point, a signal peptidase associated with the endoplasmic reticulum membrane associates with the translocation channel and catalyzes cleavage of the amino terminal signal peptide, which remains associated with ER membrane. Historically, it turned out that it was very difficult to isolate the signal peptide, that is, that is to show that when signal peptidase works, you get two products. You get a final mature protein at some point, and you get a signal peptide. The reason the signal peptide wasn't found is people were looking at it in the liquid of the lumen, and it wasn't there. It was actually associated with the ER membrane. So as this protein then continues to grow, eventually it is extruded into the lumen in its entirety, folded up now in its three-dimensional structure, but without the signal peptide. Shown in this illustration as well is there is another protein that is believed to plug up the channel when the channel is not in use.